Oh, why, hello. And welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. All right, Granny. Good to see you. Hoping to get that cookie recipe. What is up, beautiful peeps? It is your girl, Night Star Entertainment, bringing you some more of that Stardew Artisan Challenge. Now, um... We're doing something a little different. Let's, uh, let's just put it out there. I put 79 mods into this game pack. Um, one of it, it's for taxes. I get taxed on money now, um, which I can just look over here at the bottom left here. Money earned, debt, expect bills, etc. So whenever I earn money, it's going to do some form of taxes. I didn't read it all the way through um, because I just wanted the surprise of it. Uh, I wanted to see how much they wanted to take. Um, we're starting off brand new on the Artisan Challenge because I feel like I was just playing regular Stardew and just hoping to get to the kegs and the preserve jars as quickly as possible. So I didn't feel like there was a, any real challenge. But then I was uh, watching a little bit of uh, Sharky Games. Um, I, I might link it, uh, his episode one, in the uh, description box below. And, uh, cause I really thought it was a wonderful idea. He's doing a, a rags to riches storyline and I think it's phenomenal. I've only watched like episode one or two and I think it was just so fantastic. So I wanted to incorporate a little bit more of that into the artisan challenge. And so I, I searched and I fished out some mods. I know he's only doing a couple here and there and it's already amazing. I got 79 mods and mostly of it is to, uh, be able to cook and stuff um so you've got page after page after page you guys i'm still clicking i look of all these new recipes i wanted it to be off gate and the goal is to make every single recipe you have here like that that's one of the artisan challenge goals um we've got a nice little kitchen starting off even though it doesn't really mean anything if you don't have food or money um like i said starting off with zero money making it hard no bed no tv uh no furniture we're just out here alone we're you know i i didn't give a fancy little backstory because nightstar is my alias you know and so i don't really have a backstory i i think if anything we just moved uh, we're gonna go with the whole stardew valley you moved into a new town um i think mom and dad you know unlike sharky's game mom and dad's still alive and etc i just kind of i'm gonna say that i'm um uh, a person that just ran away from like maybe a situation just wanted to break free didn't want to deal with you know the city life or any life she just wanted to make a new commune in the woods kind of stuff which is kind of like <laughs> my ideal if there was an ideal dream situation um it would be that i'd have a commune in the woods nothing cult like or anything just closest of friends make my own stuff back to nature kind of feel like out there preferably next to like running water a stream a river or something that i can go sit next to and what have you but in this gameplay i i just wanted all the space so i went with the original farm so we've got new type of crafting i want to show you a little bit of it a foreign cast grinders ice cream machine baker's blender juicers pepper blender baker's oven espresso machines i mean all new types of machinery that we will need to you know bust our butts and get and it's supposed to expand it all and it's really cool the same regular map i call it zeta farm just like i did in the previous uh one starting off day one no parsnips no money nothing um so here we go you know just i thought it'd be a fun little thing to do still the artisan challenge so we still need to make every single wine um that we can jellies all types of things hey nightstar i forgot to ask you when your birthday is when you moved in i wanted to make sure i knew so that i could make a record of it in the town's documents want to make sure you feel welcomed after all just fill out this form here and you'll be good to go uh well i'm a spring baby um i don't think i can have it on that day yeah, it's a festival day. So, you know what? I'll have it on the 12th, I guess. Um, mm, 
Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Cool. We're on... You know what? It doesn't have to be a real life. It doesn't have to be... Well, I'll have it on the day before. Cool. Okay, spring 12. I'll make sure to remember that. See you soon, Nightstar. Uh, let's check out here. Dear Nightstar, we'd like to inform you that Khadija's Recipe Shop is now open for business. We carry recipe books and rare goods from all over the Ferngill Republic, and our stock is always changing, so don't miss out. You can find our stall at the unused ice cream stand in town every day from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. We look forward to doing business with you. Zamir and Khadija, proprietor and mascot of Khadija's Recipe Shop. So we got a whole new recipe shop and everything. Let us uh, go get our life straight a little bit. Oh, I know that we're going to need some seeds. Because uh, we need some seeds. Um, we need a little, but we're not getting anything. That is kind of sad. Not a single seed. All right, well. Let's uh do some cleanup then if we're not getting seeds. I guess we're not so lucky. I don't know what the luck is for the day because we don't have a TV. So hopefully we're uh, lucky enough to get maybe a seed. Just one. One of these should have like a seed. There's no way. So we're going to start off swinging this over here and not get a single seed. Or maybe we are. Maybe we're just that unlucky. All right. Well, this is a wonderful start. Um, yeah, our water and food is going down. And we haven't even really done too much yet. That's fantastic, by the way. Um, I hear if you leave the stumps, um, it'd be better off for you. Because you don't waste as much energy. And that is very important at the moment. Very important in this gameplay to make sure that we're getting the best of usage of our tools and everything else. Alright. Come on. Just one seed. One seed, you guys. Oh. Well, we're, there's one. We can make some money. There's two. Alright, maybe we just was in the wrong area. We need a chest. Like, something fierce. Because of the limited backpack space. Limited backpack space. 39. Uh, we're going to get to 40 over here. Uh, and then we're going to go ru uh, rummage for some foraging. We've got to get that together. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We're not doing that. Alright, so we've got some wood let's see i'm gonna need to clear out this area here i was trying to look for all right we're already at 26 water that's crazy oh um, all right we've got it looks like a cauliflower and a parsnip so that's what we're working with right now Ooh, night star, you got it rough, girl. You got it rough. Let's uh get that going. We need to go forage. See if there's anything of value. I don't why do we pick that up now? Can't even eat that. And we're gonna need some money. We're gonna need something. Cause food, water, and etc. It will start eating at our energy. Alright, there's nothing up here. It's, it's wild, I hope. Alright, so we got a leak here. That's really good. Yo, what's up, Linus? How you doing? A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just love out here alone. You know what? So do I, friend. Living out here by ourselves. Let's go um invite, uh, invite, introduce ourselves to some of the people. What up, Robin? Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. No, I haven't. Maru! Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Yes, girl. Let's go. I feel like we're going to be best of friends. Gre greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and fa father. Thanks for introducing yourself. You're welcome, young man. I say as a, probably someone who is 
much younger than you. I don't know how old are you. You you have kids. I I don't. I don't. Early thirties, no kids. Because why? I mean, I I think kids are adorable. Let me stop acting like I. Kids are adorable. I would like some in the future, but I would like to have the most money possible to make sure that they get like the best education that money could buy and stuff like that. Let me uh. <gasps> We found something. Oh, and some bread? And some bread? Um, alright, so the filled snack is good, but I need to be able to, uh, buy some things. Oh, that's right, I heard someone's new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoy exploring those overgrown fields by myself. You know what? Hey, it's Miss Nightstar. I'm the new farm- it, The new farmer. I was about to say, you're not the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Well, good for you. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Well, yeah, all right, that's cool. Oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. All right, hey girl. Um, how much this sells for? Sixty. Thirty for the daffodil. Sixty for the leek. Um. Uh, we're at 90 and I, my thirst is low. I want to keep the bread. I do because of the food. But I also know that uh, Joja Cola, uh, you can buy it for 75. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, boy. It's not open yet. It's okay. Let me go um, meet some more of these people. Hey, hello. It's nice to meet you. I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. What is she gonna say? You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. I need to stop voicing her like that. Alright, some glasses and what? There was nothing in there. We're down to 17. Freaking water. Are you not open yet? I have to wait a couple more minutes. Alright. Right? Alright, here we go. What do you have? A beer, salad, bread, spaghetti. I can't even. Hash brown, that's a recipe, but... Oh, we see some new things. Fried eel, marshmallow fluff, absence, amaretto, bitters. I mean, when I tell you, I'm going to just keep on scrolling. I want you guys to know there's recipes here for some of the alcohol and, and food. Cobbler cake, garden, salad, just cola. Uh, I do know that some of these conflict with the base game mod and so if i buy a drink it doesn't actually do anything for me um like i don't even think i can buy water um to be honest and it won't do anything for me so some of these uh foods they'll give me the energy but they won't actually fill up that uh meter that food meter down there and i don't know what to do about that so that's okay so right now um we're gonna buy a jocha cola for 75 and uh we gonna drink it where our hydration at? 50 hydration. And we need some food. So we're gonna... We're gonna eat this bread. I don't want to eat the bread just yet. I'm gonna eat this field snack. And that should keep us going. Alright. It's gonna keep us going for a little bit. I can't complain. And even if I could, it wouldn't do no good. You know what I mean? You see that? The kind of rhyme, though. That was pretty, pretty dope. Anyway. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I didn't expect such a sultry kind of uh, introduction. Because a girl be foolish. <laughs> a girl be foolish at times. I, I really do. So here's the shop over here. Uh, welcome. Khadija's happy to see you too. All right, what do we have here? Garlic, chinado extract. I don't even know that. Made from bitter orange, powdered milk, honey, spring onions. Yeah, it sells for three hundred. Crab rolls cost sixty eight hundred dollars. Two thousand for the ramen recipe. Aviation snake bite. Brown bear cupcakes. What is that? Wheat flour, cin sugar, cinnamon sticks, honey. What is that? A stout and hard apple cider. Gin and shaded violet. Like, lime, eggs, wheat flour. There's a lot of stuff. Milk chocolate. Orange fudge. Get out of here. That's amazing. 
nothing in here. Come on, give me something. Give me something. All right. Joja. Nothing? That's fine. Did I say hello to Alex down here? Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. <laughs> I'll see you around. See you around, little bro. I don't know why I call him little bro. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> oh, why, hello. Uh, welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. All right, Granny. Good to see you. Hoping to get that cookie recipe. I don't know why I voice these people like that. And if it stays the same or not, that's um, that's up to me. Hello, you must be Night Star, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. You know what? I didn't, couldn't even think of a voice for her. Um, we're gonna buy seventy-five. That's enough for another Joja Cola. But um, should I be? Let's look. Uh, let's go towards the bottom. Jerky sapling. Wild boar seeds, venison seeds, turkey seeds, reptile seeds, rabbit vine, mutton vine, fowl seeds. Takes nine days to mature. So we can buy that. Over here, a stevia plant. Um, that was for 50. Wine yeast and yeast. I don't think we can use that yet, so I'm gonna leave that up. Shaded violet seeds. Takes eight days to produce a rich purple flower. Hmm. Chamomile seeds are takes five days to mature. And I can plant these right now for 30. So I could probably get two of those. Spinach seeds are 15 gold. And takes three days? Yeah, I'm about that. Five? I, I could have got some parsley. It, it, we can do that later. But that looks like the, the game plan for right now. That looks like a good investment. I already went to the beach. Um, we're gonna skip over Harvey right now. We're not gonna try and do too much. Um, if we can get another mix seed, that'd be wonderful. Um, we're back to zero go. How's how's it looking over here? Expected bill is seventeen dollars so far. Um, debt zero, and I earned one hundred and fifty dollars, so that's not bad. Oh, we might be cooking. We might be cooking with Crisco soon, huh? What up? Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Yeah, I am, actually. But, uh, good to meet you, Haley. You didn't even introduce yourself. That's rude. Do we got any? We don't have any. Spring onion. I was actually looking forward to spring onion because I was watching. Like I said, I was watching your boy, uh, Spark, uh, Sharky. I'm about to call him Sparky. Uh, I was watching the old boy Sharky over there and... He, he got some spring onions, and I know that gave some water, and I was so hoping that I'd be lucky to uh, get some, too. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful um, about these swings. If I can get multiple in a swing, that might be more beneficial. So, mm, you guys, I don't think. Will you have one? Nope. Um, that one did. That one did not. Where are we at? Uh, Food-wise, 21. 47 on the water. Which, that's the one I'm the most concerned about. Because it's not that many water options in the game. Alright, where are we at? Four? Four more seats? It was much better to come out here and uh, do what we need to do. Alright, the forest is really helping me out. That's five, you guys. I don't know. Where are we at? 15 on the hunger. Mm. Alright, so right now it says, Your hunger? <laughs> it's got an exclamation point. It's like someone's screaming, On it, your hunger! <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this, you guys. <laughs> Alright, so I'm hungry. Um, I'm gonna keep on moving. I mean, what's gonna really happen? We're at 10. I wanna just move around. That's some more mixies, though. Did I just need to go to the bottom of the map? I might have just needed to go to the bottom of the map. All right, let's move around. I don't know if I'm even going to make it all the way back up to the top. Um, no, we're doing stuff. We're doing stuff. Look at that. All right, I really do need to eat something, though. Let's, um, 
Let's try this horseradish, see what it gives us. It gave us 10 hydration, 10 fullness, and 13 energy. So, you know what? I, I don't know what uh, the bundle is going to be like that because I remixed that as well. Um, and so that is a thing. Let us... We've got nine little seeds. So, swing this down. I always like to go ahead and set up the world as if I already have sprinklers. I just find it easier that way. Let's go ahead and get these going. Um, six again. Let's go ahead and eat this wild reddish. I really want to save that bread. Um, we're at, I mean, I don't know. You know what? We're just going to have to take it, that risk. Um, fiber. We're going to sell all the fiber that we got and even this clay. Um, I want to keep one of the clams. I don't know if it's used in anything. But, um, keep that dandelion. I could have sold some wood but I feel like that's going to be too useful I'm going to throw that in here uh, what else I think I want to move some of this stuff out the way because I really don't like that rock there just straighten up a little bit that's some coal I think coal is for 15 and if we can uh, get some of that I'm going to sell some of this stone I think that's two gold a piece we got to make s some profit Looks like we got two parsnip seeds, three cauliflowers, and two potatoes. And you know I've played this game way too much if I already know from the jump how many. I'm hungry again. I don't know if I got anything other than that bread. And I really don't want to use the bread. And it's not like I can do anything. I don't have a bed. Um, I don't have a bed, so, um, I think I did all the exploring I could do. Yeah, I walked around here and I met Linus. Um. But I can't wake up hungry, so I might have to eat that bread. That might have to be it. So. Uh, cultivate and harvest a parsnip. 17 out of 28 people greeted. So I guess go back in town. Oh, there's some other stuff here. Well, luckily, <laughs> luckily we saw that. Oh, did we just go up in foraging? Hold on. Yeah, level one. Cool. I didn't get the experience bar. I figured I'll find out at the end of the day. No biggie. But um, here we go. Go check this out. Mayor Lewis on the first day over here. I guess see who's in the saloon. Saloon. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Good to see you. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. All right. Well, I kind of figured that because you're here. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Because I needed to introduce myself. Do not feel special, sir. You are a menace. Someone's gonna give me so much hate for saying that to their beloved Ben Shapiro look I like. <laughs> Clint, please. Or hi, yes, but get out the way, Clint. Thank you. Gosh, who am I missing, honestly? Oh, did I tell you about the cooking skill? No, well, let me tell you right now. We have a cooking skill. It's a thing. So who am I missing? Um, Jody and Vincent, Harvey, Sebastian, Jazz, Willie, and the wizard. Oh, that's unfortunate. And it's too late for me to do anything about it. We've got all this energy, but we can't use too much of it because it's going to use all this water and such. Ugh. All right. So I, at this point, we just gonna have to wait it out.
Did I save a dandelion? I did. Um, we're gonna save this daffodil. Um, and then we're gonna throw this out. All right, we, it looks like we passing out. <laughs> we passing out. <laughs> Cause we don't have a bed. Yo, we can now make field snacks. That's an improvement. Let's see what we have made. 277, you know what? That is at least a Joja Cola. A few Joja Colas at that. Um, and some bread, but I don't want to buy the bread. It's not the most bang for your buck. I think the salad is, I'm not sure. So that was our first day. Not bad. Definitely a little bit more difficult. And we lose energy and water while we sleep and hold on. 22 out of 126. So we're gonna have to really do something about this. Oh, um, it's this is not great. This is not fun. <laughs> it's not fun for uh the night star the, the, in in this game. She's she's really struggling. And um, this is where I'm gonna end the episode. So if you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you would like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay on the up and up, especially on this new this new playthrough, definitely hit that notification bell. Let it ring across the nation. Tell your friends about it. Um, it definitely helps the channel in, uh, the, the channel out. Other than that, if it's your birthday, happy birthday! Eat some cake, live it up, enjoy your life, celebrate yourself. Peace.